All right. I think we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second live of this channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm going to wait for a few more people to join and uh, we will start. I'm going to go ahead and paint on this, uh, uh, work on this painting and um, pretty much working in this area, painting a tree. And, um, and that's it, yes. I'm working with acrylic paint. And um, let's, uh, yes, I'm working with acrylic paint and I'm not using any medium other than water. And if you're new to me and you're new to the channel, you know, uh, make sure you check the uploads and the playlist. I have uh, many uh, videos like this, uh, you know, snow scenes, um, um, you know, uh, false autumn season uh, paintings and stuff like that on the channel that you can uh, really watch at your own pace, you know, pause, rewind, forward, fast forward and uh, uh, is uh, it's edited so you can save time and watch you know 10 20 minutes of painting only so that being said i have to give you an advanced apology because i'm also filming this for the channel with another camera so time to time i may have to stop and uh, adjust the, the other camera and lower the music all right so let's go ahead and start and if you guys have any questions if you're joining and if you have any question you can drop below i will try to answer it right away i'm gonna set up uh, my palette here so you can see my palette And as I mentioned, I'm working with acrylic paint. So if you're working with oil or oil is your medium, you could still do similar paintings. It's just to have, um, you have to modify the techniques. I have no problem building layers here, but if you're working with oil, you gotta be mindful of that. Alrighty, let's do it. I'm working with um, cobalt blue, uh, Mars black, and titanium white. And also burned umber for the tree trunk. If you're watching uh, a rerun of these videos um, of um, of these lives, if you're watching the rerun of the live, uh, I have to tell you that um, I may repeat things because people come in and leave, so I, I may repeat things. Uh, I may stop to answer questions. I may stop to you know wash my brush or something comes up. I have to you know. Uh, leave the live for a few minutes. So these videos are best suited if you're watching it live. If you're watching the rerun, you know, I have other videos that are edited and are more suitable for you to watch on the channel. Also, I'm going to uh, film this part and edit it and post it on the channel later. And maybe like a few, few more, few days uh, after this live. So, you know. I highly recommend you watch those videos as a 
you know, because there are a lot of, you know, dead footage in this kind of videos, as I said, it's alive, so I have to stop doing things, you know, wash my brush, stuff like that, answer questions, and oftentimes, you know, repeat things for more people who join, so that's the, that's the problem with the rerun of these lives, but still, if you like to watch it, more than welcome, be my guest. But if you're here on, on the live itself, you know, feel free to drop any questions in the comment section. I will try to read the comments uh, every few minutes and answer your questions. Okay, with that being said, I'm not gonna, you know, go on a rant anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on the painting. Unless you guys have any questions or comments for me. I'm going to switch my brush to a, a detail brush just to get uh, these small branches and twigs. Add some water to your paint if you're doing uh, you know, small branches and stuff like that on a tree the paint will run easier on the canvas especially if you have a very rough canvas just joined welcome welcome to my live welcome to the channel drop a comment let me know where you're watching from and what is your favorite uh, style of art do you like realism do you like abstract Tell me if the music is too loud or not.
pain tube was giving me a hard time. A lot of detailed work here. It's probably, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe not uh, suitable for a YouTube video. But a lot of detailed work. But maybe some of you guys like it. I don't know. I'm going to continue building some volume on this tree and once I'm done with uh, the branches the way I like it I'm going to bring in some impression of snow some maybe some leaves left on this tree and uh, it's going to be a deciduous tree so And drop in another tree next to it. Maybe this is behind that tree. Every tree needs a friend. So we're gonna give this tree a friend and we're gonna drop one more tree just next to it just like so I don't have any reference photo for this painting obviously I mean it's all in my head so I have to time to time stop and think like what I'm gonna do what is the best way to you know to carry out this task I mean composition wise and perspective wise what works what doesn't and you're watching it live as it's as it's uh, happening may have to go back and change things you know I don't know I'm gonna paint it the way it is right now the way I planned it and if it doesn't you know at the end if I see that composition wise is not really working I may have to go back and change it but for now I'm gonna try the beauty of uh, acrylic medium is that you know you can always you know paint over it and change the landscape drastically in a matter of minutes really no big deal if you feel like uh, your paint is not moving on the canvas easily just add some water thin it if you're working with acrylics if you're working with oil turpentine paint thinners, linseed oil or any other ways that you think your paint will work Let's give some highlight to this side of the tree and I'm going to use uh, burnt umber 
that was burnt umber and black so I'm going to bring in some burnt umber give some illusion of light hitting this tree from this church I'm not done with the church yet I'm going to put a cross up there later on I can bring some white add with that umber and get these highlights a bit more intense in this area and create impression of light let me get myself some more burnt umber perfect And I'm going to go ahead and smooth out this sharp edge, hard edge over there. So I'm gonna edit this video, I mean, mean this this part obviously, and post it on the channel. So if you feel like you know, because if you feel like it's too long for you to watch, if you're watching the rerun of the live, as I mentioned earlier, don't worry. I'm gonna edit this part and post it on the channel. I'm gonna condense it to like 10 minutes uh, video. But if you like more in depth. Um, then you can watch the rerun of the live if you want to see every brush stroke that's your choice I'm going to bring some highlight to this one as well not as intense as this one but that tree is going to get some highlight as well we don't want it to be jealous jealous is not a good thing But we're gonna fairly uh, we're gonna get keep this tree fairly dark and remember we need dark in order to show light we need dark in order to show highlights very important cannot be overemphasized Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a round brush. And I will pick up some uh, cobalt blue. Maybe some black. I don't want to use cobalt blue straight out of the tube and really press this 
brush against the palette. And I'm going to come up here and just create impression of um, what you call it, the dark tone or the mid tone for some snow covered leaves on this tree. Not going to have total coverage, just a bit. Just a little. And this is the part that you really have to take your time. Go slow, go small, stand back and look at your painting, see if it's working. You can always add more, but it's, uh, it's a problem, it's a big problem if you want to take some off. So be mindful of that. So I'm trying to stand back and take a look here. Maybe a little bit more volume here. Just tapping, just like that. This outside edge is more important, really, but inside is, is important as well, but So maybe a bit more here. So remember, this is dark tone. And this tree is in front of the church. So the leaves gonna come over and cover it and it really helps to push the church back into the painting. Maybe a bit more and that's it. I want to cover I don't want to cover the church more than this. Maybe a bit more up here. some in here just like that Right, so at this stage, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add some white to our cobalt blue and make a mid-tone. For the impression of the snow. And we're gonna come up here and drop our mid-tone. So the moon, the moonlight maybe is hitting this area.
So slowly but surely we building up some volume here, smoothing out some of the hard edges. Some impression of snow here. So I'm going to continue working with this brush and uh, apply the mid-tone wherever I think it's needed and soften some of the, some of them blend them with the background, try to get a, like a natural look for the tree. Again, I don't have a reference photo in front of me, so just making it up as we go. A bit more white added to the cobalt blue. And with this uh, added white to my cobalt blue, I'm going to create a bit more uh, lighter value. So the more white we add, it's the lighter the blue would get, obviously. But I don't want to go straight white here. I don't think it's needed. The background is dark enough, so it will show. As you see. I know on the camera, it looks very bright, but in person, it's, you know, bluish, very light bluish in color. So my advice to you, if you're doing this technique, this kind of a brush is really helps. Look at those long bristles. Really helps. People say brush doesn't matter, the technique matters. But I beg to differ on that. Brush really matters. Um, a good brush makes your life much easier when you're painting. Uh, so get yourself one of these brushes. So far I like the tree, it looks good, I don't know what you think, but if you want to let me know what you think, you know, drop a comment. My subscribers to the channel are very stingy with their comments, I mean, God, I have to beg them to, you know, leave a comment, like, please, please leave a comment, you know, I don't know, people are busy these days. Finances are difficult, people are busy. I understand. But if you can, you know, leave a comment, let me know where you're watching from, how long you've been watching my channel, what do you think of the paintings? Are they horrible? Are they 
a disaster, a catastrophe. What do you really think of them? Let me know. All right, enough with crazy talk. Let's go ahead and finish this painting, uh, finish this area rather. Let's bring some white, some more white to that mixture. Let's drop in some highlights here. Wow, that's beautiful. What they say, fantastic, unnatural. Marvelous. Here. Tell me you're watching this and you're not dropping a like. I don't think you could. I'm sure you're going to give me a like. I'm 100% sure. It's impossible. You're watching this and you don't give me a like. I know you're not like. You're not like that. All right. Some more highlights here. Again, I'm not going, you know, white straight off the tube. Okay, I'm still working. This is my palette, still working with fairly bluish tone here, so. And by highlights and dark, you can separate, you know, these areas. So this dark separator here. So if I bring these highlights all over here and these highlights all over there, you're gonna have a big blob of highlights over there and then you're not, you're not gonna have that separation. So if you are a beginner artist, just be mindful of that. All right, I'm happy with this tree. Maybe a bit more mid-tone here. Maybe. Maybe a touch of white added to my mid-tone and a bit more details there. All right. Uncle 60, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Appreciate it. I'm not sure if you stay here, Art Uncle 60, but thank you for your comment. I appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead, add some white to my paint. Yeah, still watching. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. 
How's our uh, mutual friend? How is he doing? Gonna add some white here. Maybe the impression of light hitting these bushes. So I'm gonna bring more white here. And soft and blend it in. It's not an acrylic painting if you don't use your fingers. So. And maybe some more white for this part of the tree. So as I mentioned, the moonlight hitting this side. So let's bring in a bit more highlights here. A touch. You don't want to overdo this. This is the most rewarding part of the painting, bringing highlights, but definitely you don't want to overdo it. You can get carried away easily. Easily. Here we go. And maybe some up here. Look what this brush can do. It's a very good brush and cheap one as well. I think uh, cheap brushes perform the best. I don't know why that is. The most expensive brushes in my in my art studio were never used. Not that I'm cheap and I'm saving them. It's just I find it that these cheap brushes, you know, perform better. All right, I don't want to get carried away with this. Whoa. I think I'm good where I am. All right. And maybe we keep this part a bit dark here. Very nice, very nice, Uncle Sixty. I always loved uh, your work, really. I think you know that. You know, you're a good artist. And thanks for being here, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this area fairly um, darker than this area. And I think I'm gonna let this let this be. Let's work on these bushes a bit more. Let me see. Yeah, let's work on those bushes a bit. Let me get some more cobalt blue in here get a darker value and god send thank you thank you sir oh ma'am i don't know yeah a bit more a bit more white to that All right, so I'm gonna say a few words for my other camera that I'm uh, uh, using to film this uh, video. If you're watching this, at this stage of the game, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop. So that's the tree, these are the bushes, and you saw the entire process of painting the trunk and the impression of the snow. You can also watch the rerun of the live if you want to see more. But if you're watching this video, 
uh, we're gonna end right here and thank you for visiting the channel beautiful so we're gonna end this Gonna end that and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the live and bringing in some more impression of maybe bushes and stuff like that where do we need it maybe somewhere around here or maybe we can go ahead bring this snow powering off all right, I'm gonna bring this snow to the trunk. I'm gonna paint some impression of snow on the tree trunk over here. And really soften some of those hard edges. And maybe some highlights. Just make it a bit more interesting. And that's about it for this area. Maybe some impression of snow. Get a smaller brush and some of that cobalt blue, maybe some impression of snow on these branches as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, all over. Let's play some music. It doesn't have to be all over, you know. You can break it at some time, you know, at, in certain areas. Just like so. And think about gravity as well. When you drop this impression of snow. Charging. Powering on. Paired. Good. Do your job now. You have a very steady hand. Uh, not really, <laughs> no. Um, I am resting my hand, as you see, um, on the canvas. Good thing I'm working with acrylic paint, so this is dry. Sorry about the delay, you know, if I respond uh, with a delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for these trees.
For painting these uh, branches, you don't need steady hand. Definitely, if you don't have a steady hand, you're in business. Sorry, I forgot to adjust the camera. My bad, I apologize. As you can see now, okay.
you can cast the live to Google Cast. Uh, I have no idea you talking to the wrong person. Technology wise, I am um, stone aged. It took me a uh, few months to figure out, uh, I mean, the setup and the lives and stuff like that. I'm not really good at it. Um, but do you normally uh, do it? Uh, like live, I mean, videos on YouTube, you have no problem casting it? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe something about this life. <laughs> so if some of you guys are watching the rerun of this live, um, I apologize for earlier, I forgot to adjust the camera and you missed uh, some of the areas over here that I was painting. It's live, it happens. And if you wonder why I run my finger over the you know, painted area, I'm just softening the edges. Alright, so enough uh, with this tree. I believe we are good where we at with this tree. Definitely I don't want to overdo this impression of snow on this tree. Maybe in a few more areas, just touching and tapping. What else we can do with this painting? Uncle Sixty, do you have any suggestion? Oh, we have to do the cross. <sighs> we have to do the cross and let me turn on my other camera. Oh no, forget it. I think it's a uh, setting on your live stream app that has to allow casting. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Let me see. And can I change it right now? I'm not sure if I can uh, change the setting right now um, without exiting the live. Uncle sixty, but it's a uh, it's a good thing you mentioned for the next live. I'm gonna allow that. I think when I was starting the live. I noticed um, casting and stuff like that. Yes, I think you're right. It's turned off. Uh, my bad. My bad. 
and I don't think I can uh, change it right now. Let me see, let me try. Live chat, no. No, I, I, I don't think I can uh, change the setting right now. Yeah, well, no, I think it's me. I, I, th I think you're right. So for the next live, I keep that in mind. I will uh, turn on that option for casting. I uh, appreciate that you mentioned that. Because some people would like to cast it on their TV. You're absolutely right. I think it's me. So. Let's go ahead and make some gray. Maybe some of that umber added to it. A bit more white. And let's go ahead, drop the cross for this chair. Yes, yes, definitely. I have to add more highlights and stuff like that. It's not gonna be the final. I'm gonna work on that tree a bit more. Got to adjust the camera again. My bad again. Second time on a live, I forgot to adjust the camera angle. Ah. Tiny life of reddish or dark yellow color very little so you can add broken colors. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna do it I don't think I have red over here right now where I'm working, but I can go ahead get some red But let's uh, let's work with that umber Add some white to it And again, I've I apologize if you're watching a rerun of this live for a second uh, mistake, not adjusting the camera angle. Uncle Sixty, are you still uh, posting on YouTube? Oh, 
I know you used to pour. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I'm still learning, so... I have to work on that, bring some details and stuff like that. This painting is not done yet, so... But you're absolutely right. I'm gonna use my other brush that I did uh, the tree to bring in some texture of maybe some uh, dried vegetation and stuff like that. Maybe a snow covered. But I think I'm gonna leave that maybe for next live because uh, I'm going over one hour right now. I want this area to be the brightest where um where the light is casting on the on the tree. So maybe more highlights here. Artists always say that you never Yes <laughs> you can always go back and fix it or ruin it, right? No, but truly, I'm not really done with this painting. I have to work on the water. I don't know if you could uh, see. Um, here. This area has to be worked on. The, uh, the church is not done yet. I have to do the front door and stuff like that. That's under painting right now. Uh, shadows under the eave. It's not done yet. So, um, yeah, there are... There are things to do with the with the church, with the water. But you know, it's uh, how much, I mean, how far you want to take a painting is up to the artist, of course, you know. You know, I always say to myself, if I'm going to sell this painting, you know, um, for under $200, for, for example, you know, do I need, do I really have to work on it for like a week? You know, put 10 hours, 20 hours on it, you know. Um, or contrary to that, if you said in working on a piece to go to a gallery, that's a different, uh, that's a different mentality, that's a different ball game. You know, you have to do your work the best way you can. But, you know. And that tree, I'm not going to do a lot of details. I want, I don't want to compete it with this tree. We're going to keep it really subdued and just being there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I agree with you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I mean, it's not the best work I've ever done, but uh, it's okay. 
I appreciate you, Uncle Sixty. Thank you. I mean, it can't compete with your work, but you know, I've seen some of your work. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna come in with this brush. I, this is the same brush I use for the for the tree. I'm just gonna tap some burnt umber and maybe a touch of black here. Uncle Sixty, tell me if you approve, okay? What I'm about to do. Of course, if it uh, if I completely ruin this area, I can go ahead and paint over it. It's acrylic, so let's experiment. Just gonna drop in some impression of vegetation here. And I'm really gonna go ahead and soften the base of these things. Maybe some umber as well. And then go back to my ultramarine blue and white. Let me wash that brush. How's that, Uncle Sixty? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thank you. Of course, uh, when you have a human element in a painting, the eye will go directly to that uh, element. So in this case, uh, it's going to be the church. I mean, no matter what you do, the eye will go to the human element. It's just something we do. So that would be the focal point. So I guess after that, you know, your eye goes around and come back to this area as well. I mean, come back to this area again. All right, a little detail here. I can always paint a log or something. We will see. All right, so about one hour, one hour and 14 minutes we've been live. That's not bad. Sometimes I surprise myself. Let's add some more highlight. I have to go see you next time. Sure, definitely, definitely. Um, thank you for uh, stopping by, Uncle Sixty. Appreciate you. I'm ending the live anyway in a few minutes.
All right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this uh, live at this stage. Maybe I just switch to a detail brush and add more details here, just impression of maybe some of this vegetation is having a little friend, which is the snow visiting. Some dark here and there. And soften some of those hard edges. Bring a bit impression of snow here as well. And that's about it. If you're watching a rerun of this live and you made it this far, thank you. And um, hopefully I can see you guys uh, again with another live. And definitely uh, check the channel, check the playlist and stuff like that. Uh, until next live, uh, all the best.